the Michigan Stars FC visit Chattanooga to take on the Chattanooga Football Club, presented by Louisiana Hot Sauce. And it's a matchup of two of the top teams in the East Division. Hello and welcome alongside Simon Neal. I'm Chris Goforth, and we are certainly glad to have you with us here this evening for what promises to be a fantastic night of action here from Finley Stadium. Simon, we had about two hours ago, we had some rain here in downtown Chattanooga. That has moved out of the area now. There is another front that is coming through later tonight, but it looks like we're going to be able to squeeze this in tonight amongst the in between the showers. That's right, Chris. I think the weather's going to be kind to us tonight. We've got some beautiful weather for June evening here at Finley Stadium in Chattanooga. Uh, couldn't really be better for the broadcaster. Maybe a little bit cooler, but it, it's comfortable out there and certainly not as hot as last night for the ladies' team. So, yeah, I think we're going to sneak the game in in between the storms. Assuming we don't get a lightning delay or something awful, we shall have some great soccer bringing you for the next couple of hours. It's time for our keys to the game. It's presented by Southern Honda Power Sports. Let's start first, Simon, for the visitors, the Michigan Stars. Right, right. They're, they're tricky. They're going to have to slow down Marcus Nagelstadt. I was talking to Marcus for the game, and uh, he's aware he's going to be the target man with a, a target on his back instead of number 99. So they're going to have to keep an eye on him because he is the top scorer in the, in the NISA league right now. Uh, in fact, a fun fact for you, he scored more goals than the whole of Michigan Stars have. <laughs> so they're going to watch him. Um, but yeah, Chattanooga are going to have to be using play physical because that's how the Stars play, get a lot of crosses in, try and use their height and um, use their size and speed create a bit of havoc, uh, get behind the scars, score some goals. That's what I want to see. Well, let's pause here for our national anthem. That is your national anthem being performed tonight prior to the start of tonight's match between CFC and Michigan Stars FC. Let's get a look at your NISA standings now presented by Coca-Cola. Chattanooga Football Club at the top in the east and right behind them the Michigan Stars FC and then there's the Maryland Bobcats. Also those two jockeying for positions mm -hmm. now behind Chattanooga but would be huge for Michigan, Simon, to make that long road trip south and come away with a win tonight. They'd love to get the three points and put themselves back in contention, but uh, with their last game being a 1-0 loss against the Maryland Bobcats uh, during the week, then um, they need to get back in the scoring ways. They've got some good scorers, but uh, so far not as much on target as they'd like to be. Chattanooga FC coming in after a draw Wednesday night in California. They fly home on Thursday, had some downtime on Thursday, back at it in training again Friday, and then ready to go here tonight. I talked with head coach Rod Underwood earlier this week. He's a little concerned about legs tonight. Sure, and that's natural, especially after all that flying and then, you know, stuck, and stuck on a plane is never good for your legs. Uh, they played two, two long, hard games in California. They came away with four points out of a possible six, so that's not too shabby. And um, with goals in the first game against Bay Cities from Jones, Nagelstadt and Ward, um, and then the draw with LA Force on, on Wednesday, again, Nagelstadt getting on the scoreboard like he does every game. He scored in six games in a row now, Chris. <laughs> Let's get a look at your starting lineups. It's presented by Visit Chattanooga. And as we take a look at the starting 11 for the Michigan Stars, it will be Tatenda Mukarova in the goalkeeper position tonight. He is a guy, their head coach Trevor Banks says, he's the best athlete, he's the fastest, mm -hmm. he's the highest jumper, tremendous athlete. Looking forward to seeing this guy play. They will be fast and physical. Let's get a look at Chattanooga now. Marcus Nagelstand, we've already talked about nine goals this season. He is in the lead for the race for the Golden mm -hmm. Boot. 
Simon, you talked to him on the field before the we game. We had a few quick words, yeah, and he's very modest about the whole thing. You can't really, he doesn't have much of an ego at all. He just gets out and does his job. Um, so today, Rod's got his team up for a 4-3-3. Nice to see Chris Bermudez getting a run out up front for a change. He's been uh, trying to get that start in place. He's got one tonight, so that's great. Otherwise, the regulars, you all know, all those guys, Ian Sawyer in the midfield, Richard Dixon, the captain in midfield, Kevin Gonzalez in goal, Taylor Gray, our great striker up front. Frankie Martinez at the back, my buddy Alex McGrath, number 33, in the midfield. And then Marcus up front, like we said, Tate Robertson in the back, playing the winger. Greg Stratton playing the other side on the left, and Colin Stripling making up the last four in defence. Uh, got to say a quick hello to Alex's friend Henry, watching in Spennymore in England tonight. Thanks for joining us, Henry, and everybody else who's joined us on 11 Sports tonight. Wherever you're watching, thank you for being here. And we are just about ready to get things underway. From Findlay Stadium, Chattanooga in the blue kilts, playing at home. Yep. Michigan Stars in the white, and we are underway. Mentioned Chattanooga playing out in California in Covino, California, Wednesday night, where they took on the LA Force in a 1-1 draw. It was a 1-0 lead for CFC at the half before Edwin Rivas was able to get the equalizer. That came in the 49th minute. Yeah, that was the early Nagelstadt goal that put Chattanooga in a good spot for the half, first half, and uh, just unfortunately couldn't hold it. But they didn't concede any more than the one goal, so a draw is not too bad playing away. So uh, I think they'll take that, although it keeps their unbeaten record going nice and steady, and that's always good to see too, good for your mentality that you're staying unbeaten. Yeah, the first substitute for Chattanooga didn't come until the 79th minute on Wednesday night. I think that's one of the things to keep an eye out for tonight. We talked a little bit about the rain. It is very humid here. Look, it's East Tennessee in June, mm -hmm. right? There, the humidity is going to be a factor. You know it. So you wonder how long now Rod Underwood will go before he, he looks to make a sub. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rod's usually a little towards the end of the second half for his subs, but uh, that's not a hard and fast rule. Watch him be wrong about that. <laughs> well, Chattanooga tried to play their style here early. Want to try to settle in and, and control possession, and that's that's kind of the hallmark, I think, of what Ron mm -hmm. Underwood wants wants to do. This is this is what folks have come to expect from CFC. Well, that's it. This has been their uh, the new mo this season is to to not panic, to stay with the possession play you want the drills where you play the triangles and the squares that you play in practice and just focus on possession because if you've got the ball the opponents can't score as Rod always says and he's right so that's the, uh, the style we see and it's it's paying off so CFC with six wins two draws and a loss they are 4-1-0 and in their last five including 2-1-1 and here in Finley Stadium yeah, near the home advantage, obviously, it's a great thing here. There's one of those pushes that Marcus were expecting to see early on. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, with the hooligans here making so much noise, it's, uh, it's fabulous. And that's what the players love. And if the uh, opposing coach's bench doesn't care for it quite as much, but the, uh, the fans and the players certainly enjoy it. <laughs> we talked about Chattanooga, the Michigan Stars, at 4-3-2 and two on the year. 1-2-1. One, and one on the road and 2-1-2 two, and two in their last five. Looking to get back in the win column as Chattanooga will try to send it over the top. And Michigan will have a throw in now from the far side. Just underway. We are early in this first, first half of action. In the fourth minute here, still scoreless. taken away by Chattanooga and we'll have a, a penalty on the far side. Yeah, 
Greg Stratton getting in there, making sure that uh, Michigan Stars didn't make a break on there. This free kick to the Stars on the far side, not a scoring distance, but a uh, good place to spin the board into the box and see what they do. That is Stephen Youngchai. And Young Chai will direct it towards the box. The header, high into the air. That's, uh, and it yeah. goes out of play. Couldn't keep that one down. It's too much on it for him to get uh, the elevation and get the ball down. So, goes out for a goal kick to Chattanooga. First time we've really seen now in the, in the fifth minute here before we've really seen an opportunity for, for either side. Sure, absolutely. And they see a lot of this in these games, these... Uh, each side is feeding each other out to see where the, uh, the gaps are, who's slow, who's fast. If there's a weak spot they can get into. So generally, when we do have the early goal, it's unusual. We have seen a few here this season. It's been we've been very lucky with some of those, uh, even like one or two minutes in. But uh, this is not one of those games yet. The players are safe feeding each other out, seeing where the gaps are. Well, we talked about the athlete that Michigan FC is so, Chattanooga now. Him. Nice give and go from Taylor Gray from Nagelstadt. Nagelstadt taken down, another foul. There's that, uh, shall we call it physical play from Michigan Stars, and being polite about it. Pio <laughs> Noguiero with the tackle to take him down. You know, yes. we had mentioned earlier, Simon, about the athleticism of Tatenda Mukarova, the, right. yeah, the, the goalkeeper. The Zimbabwean goalkeeper, who's yeah, an excellent well, goalkeeper. Yeah, and if you watched yep. him there, mm -hmm. while the ball was on the other end, he comes, he is all the way out. He's Absolutely. a good 30 yards mm -hmm. away from the goal. Absolutely. He's very much very aware and he moves all the time. And I think Chapman will be aware of that. And if he does get out of position, they can bob a shot over him if they're careful. But let's see what we do from here. Nagelstadt and Cerro over the free kick. Opportunity here for Nagelstad, and oh. it is just wide. Just to the left of the post. Good shot from Marcus Nagelstad, showing his intention is to get another goal tonight. And well, he is he has had the hot foot, I guess we would call Absolutely, it. he has. Yeah. Must have dunked it in Louisiana hot sauce to make it hot, but he's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's say that again. Put a nickel in the replay machine. Watch that one again. Here we go. Yeah, that's just out of the goalkeeper's reach. So uh, Chattanooga letting Stars know they're not, uh, not messing around tonight. <laughs> and possession taken back by Chattanooga. Hang on, fellas. It's one of those games, isn't it? Well, stop start here. Well, the Michigan Stars, they make no, they, they leave no doubt about how they want to play oh, right, right from the start. They Absolutely. want to play fast, yes. and they want to play physical. Yes, they do. They've always done that every time we've seen them play, and uh, we have to face them three more times. This is the first time we played in this season. We'll be playing three more times, and each of those games is going to be as interesting as this one. <laughs> Again, it's Stephen Youngchai. Out of Sterling Heights, Michigan, he leads the team in assist. And Young Chai will curve it towards the box and out of play. Wow. He was aiming. He had a guy. He was right in front of Marich. Yeah. He was right there. Marich let it go right past his right foot. It should have just tucked it away in the corner of the goal. So that was a little, little odd, but uh, no problem there. I'm happy to let him not score a goal. <laughs> reaching down my bag to get the yellow cards out. We probably need the yellow cards tonight. So Chris, be ready to wave them. <laughs> yeah, Trevor Banks, the head coach and sporting director for the Michigan Stars, mm -hmm. told me this week, he said, you know, he talk about their style of play and he said that's what we look for when we're putting this team together we want to have size and mm -hmm. if, as you see Nagelstead now yeah right of the box and he's tripped up and dropped they have some very tall players and yeah they're, they're folks and markers who said early in the game and uh, 
I think they're feeling like he goes down too easily. Maguero feeling he was, uh, just went down the brush of a feather, but uh, Marcus knows what he's doing. <laughs> if he keeps winning him three kicks in dangerous places, we're not going to complain, right? <laughs> it's Ian Saro. Yep. But Sarah McGrath, who would have teamed three kicks and corners, and uh, never quite know which one going to take it. So it's always a challenge for the defense to figure out. Now, do you change your... Well, let's wait and see. <laughs> Here's McGrath with a short kick. He'll send it over to Saro, angles it towards the box, That's and it goes see. wide. Yeah. I was going to ask, do you <laughs> change your your strategy a little bit on the corner kicks when you've got a team like Michigan that has such a height mm -hmm. advantage? I think you'd have to because uh, you've got so many tall defenders there. I mean, all of them are six foot plus, they're defenders. So um, bobbing the ball into the box is high up for a header isn't going to work out too well. Um, so yeah, playing them short is probably what we're going to see more of tonight. Uh, like that free kick. But uh, Alex and Ian are very experienced. They'll, uh, they'll know what to do. And, uh, great trust in both of them to be good at what they're doing here. <laughs> Shenandoah will look to build it from the back. Patience, the key word That's for, for Chattanooga, yeah. but yeah. patience yeah. also for the, the opponents. I think the, the frustrating thing, Simon, would have to be the fact that this team is seems to be so precise mm -hmm. in how they pass it and how they're able to move the ball right now. Well, that's it. That's something they drilled on, and it's really paying off. So, um, and, yeah, they'll focus on possession, as you said, in all the games, and just staying calm. Even under pressure, they don't panic and don't give it away easily and they know that each other is in position where they're supposed to be to receive the ball so when they make the pass there's somebody there to get it this, and this move down the wing is very good with Stratton and Gray I'm liking the look of that those are combining well on this side you'll see Tate Robertson doing the same thing with uh, Chris Bermudez broken up by Yakov Shmelov well, they'll keep doing that and they'll get past him eventually and then Taylor Grubby let loose. <laughs> <laughs> it is Shmelov that will put it in place. Shmelov, born in Russia, but he grew up in Alaska, calls Anchorage home. CFC again on the breakaway. On a wing. Here comes Bermudez. Got the overlap. Out to Cerro. Nice ball back to Rock Bermudez there from Tate Robertson. Very nice. Back to Tate again. See, Tate is a defender that comes all the way up the wing. He's really good at that. They're doing those one two passes, working really well, keeping possession even under pressure. Stars having to get back on this. In the 13th again. minute without a score, here's Nagelstadt from the top of the box. And again, he sends it all the way up the hill into the grass. The kids will have fun chasing after that. Yeah, Nagelstadt got away from his marker and uh, Stars know they got to do better to close him down. Give him a lot of space there, just a couple of seconds is enough to get a shot off. Nagelstad earlier tonight missed wide to the left on a penalty kick. That time he sails it a bit high. I guess he's still getting his sight zoomed in a bit, but he'll get there. <laughs> Makaruva with a goal kick. It feels like it's been a while since Michigan has had possession, so mm -hmm. they'll try to set something up here, settle down a little bit, and try to gain possession. Yep. And that's one of the trademarks that frustrates opponents in, in rock streams. They just uh, hang on to the ball a lot. And uh, eventually the Stars will get frustrated, maybe commit a foul or two and do something silly. We'll see. That's a good long ball. 
But again, Robertson there to read it. McGrath gets it back. Yep, see Chattanooga are good at recovering. They, this is what they've worked on, is recovery of the ball. Nice three ball there from Gray to McGrath. McGrath coming in the middle. Here's Gray. Gray in the box. Can he get it in? And oh, he missed it. Right across the goal line almost, and uh, the keeper has to push it away. So McGrover pushed it away for a CFC corner. This is the kind of pressure that CFC will keep putting on. They'll keep turning the screw until they have a goal, and they'll reset and do it again. <laughs> Once again, it's Ian Saro and McGrath both there for the for the corner kick. And McGrath is going to go long this time. Here we go. And McGrath into the box. Didn't see much on that, and uh, yet found the goalkeeper. So a free kick to the stars. Couple of opportunities for CFC. Chattanooga not able to find the back of the net. And now Michigan will take over. It feels like Chattanooga has been in control throughout this first half as we're into the 16th minute now, but there is no, no score yet. And CFC able to take it away. It was Richard Dixon, the captain there, to take control. Chattanooga changing the pace a little bit, Chris. See, they're slowing it down and uh, <laughs> just uh, getting the breath back and keeping control of the game. Well, having said that, see, that's the curse of the commentator. Richard Dixon gives it away. <laughs> <laughs> I should just shut up. <laughs> That'll teach you. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, folks at home. <laughs> well, and, and I wonder at what point will Michigan look to or will they look to try to tighten up the space a little bit on Chattanooga. Try to contest this. Maybe turn it into mm -hmm. a couple of 1v1s out there somewhere. Well, this is part of the mental game where they're having to anticipate what's, what the ball's going to go and so forth. And Chattanooga are good at making those intercepts and reading the ball better. Um, the Stars are a little bit loose on that. They're trying, but again, that's a very good pass, but there's nobody there. But they like the intention's good, but they aren't getting the connection just yet. But yeah, the, uh, you know, see the, the Michigan strikers getting a little bit frustrated. Tranky Martinez, nice and cool under pressure out of Greg Stratton. Yeah, Gray comes back, grabs that one, says thank you. Wins a throw in for Chattanooga on the first side. up about 15 rows deep on the far side and Chattanooga will try it again. It's McGrath. McGrath. And a good ball through there. Aiming so over for oh, Robertson. Almost getting taken Robertson through. I think that's going to creep out for the throw in Chattanooga. It is. That was a lovely ball. Slid right through the, the gap in the Stars defense. Yeah, Robertson will put it in play. Mm -hmm. 
Robertson with a header. And Chattanooga will try to clear it out from the box. They were looking to set it up yep. as Bermudez. But instead, we'll head back the opposite way. 20th minute here from Finley Stadium in Chattanooga. Scoreless between the teams that sit number one and number two in the East Division of NISA. Chattanooga Football Club and the Michigan Stars FC. Chattanooga at home in the blue kilts. And Michigan in white. And the long kick. And Michigan able to take control. It was Bowie. And it's taken away again by Chattanooga. Richard Dixon has tons of room there to pass out to Taylor Gray. Now he's got Nagelstadt overlapping. With Stratton right behind him. Here comes Nagelstadt. There he goes, taken down again. He is, he's the target man. He's going to have black and blue angles by the end of this game. <laughs> that was Young Chi, Stephen Young Chi. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. See, what's the referee doing here? Chattanooga players complain that Marks is getting too much attention to the referee. Yeah, referee's keeping control of the game pretty well so far. So another opportunity for Nagelstad. Just outside the box. In the 21st minute, in a scoreless match. With the right foot, and it's in! No, it's on the, uh, I think that was into the side netting. Once again, Nagelstad sends it wide. That's the third time he's missed wide twice. But he's getting... Uh, and he getting, missed high, but yeah. he's getting closer. He's getting him past <laughs> the keeper each time, too. <laughs> and that's the main thing. The keeper's not getting hold of those. That was into the side netting, and the replay will see it. The net does bulge, and you think, oh, it's gone in, but actually it bounced off the side of the netting. It's, from this angle, a bit deceptive. Third opportunity tonight for Chattanooga CFC yet to be able to get on the board. Long kick down. And once again, Chattanooga will. Benudez tries to come forward, but. Yeah, uh, not able to come away with it. Yep. So, Jongo there trying to make the attack happen. Couldn't quite keep it in. Now again, Chattanooga with the, the initiative. Still on side. Taylor Gray is on side. Here comes Gray so into the in box. There. Gray against the double team. Uh, they claim Gray made a foul, but I think it was more of a collision. But, uh, free kick to the Stars in their own box. And there wasn't really much of a foul there, but oh well. Chattanooga fans, not amused. No, not, not amused. Not indeed. <laughs> Chattanooga strong, they're still dispossessing the uh, Stars midfield. Now Michigan has yet to mount much of a scoring threat. We mentioned the three opportunities that Chattanooga has had. And here comes Taylor Gray again, if he can keep it in. Yes, he can. Watch this, he's onside. Gray they back know he's into dangerous, the box. makes his turn. Looks Tries for the, the shot away. Cannot get the shot away. He's just outnumbered by three defenders. Frankie Martinez all the way back up from the rear, gets fouled for his trouble. Again, the Stars not happy about the fouls they're giving away, but that's how they're playing. Those are definitely fouls they're creating. And Matzo ref talking to the referee and saying, that's never a foul, and referee saying, I think it is. <laughs> and it's partly his frustration because they aren't having much possession of the ball. So 
low two fire out for a shot, but plenty of chances to uh, swing it into the box. Play with the touch. It's McGrath Spain. with the right foot. McGrath all the way to Bermudez, heads it in. And uh, pushed out for a check under the throw. Bowie with the uh, catching that one in the head, knocked him out a little bit. So they're calling on the medical staff to check him out. While that happens, I think the players might grab some water. He's still pretty toasty down there on the field. Yeah, again, we mentioned the rain that came in prior to the start of the game. There's a, more showers expected later tonight, mm -hmm. but the feeling is they can squeeze this one in amongst the showers. I think we'll be okay, Chris. I really do. But it has uh, certainly brought with it a little bit of humidity. The temperature yeah. is down into the 80s. Yeah, but it's at 82 right now. Yeah, you put the, the humidity on top of that, and then mm -hmm. you factor it in on this turf, and well, you're probably it. still talking close to 90 down on oh, the pitch. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. We're in the 26th minute and no score. Chattanooga has controlled the match, but CFC has been unable to find the back of the net. Yet. The word is yet. <laughs> Robertson to put it in. Give and go there from Cerro to Dixon and back. Now Robertson with the cross. Oh no. <laughs> the give and go. There's Cerro. Cerro with a crosser. And he Robertson, again yeah. sailed right in front. And yeah, a little bit too strong on the cross and keep has to palm it away. Actually giving a Goal kick to the stars for that one. I think it did cross the, uh, the end line. on for the ball and Stars win it. And it makes something happen here. And nice attempt that runs right through to Kevin Gonzalez to gather it. pressure but uh, getting it away and Chattanooga winning the throw. Robertson to put it in and Chattanooga will again look to work up. Chattanooga has found some success going high and wide. Let's see what they elect to do here. If they can get Gray free on the far side. Yeah, Chattanooga using the width of the field here successfully. Soros pass didn't quite connect to Bermudez there, but the idea was good. Just mean that Bermudez got making use of himself with the staff defence though. Tate Robertson, yeah, a little bit heavy on that one. Give him a foul away. Robinson with a collision from the backside. I believe it was against Darian Rios mm -hmm. that he collided with. Yeah, he was actually bigger than he is, but he's still not afraid to take him on. <laughs> well, that's the thing about this this Michigan FC squad. They are a uh, Michigan Stars. They are a. Uh, They're a physical side. Very well. They, look, imposing. they've got a they've got a lot of guys that are six three, oh, six yeah. four, Absolutely. six five. Absolutely. 
claim for a foul there from Nagelstadt saying he picked him on the back of the head. Is like, I'm not sure that was really particularly much contact, but they have to take a lie down. So 30 minutes in, still nil-nil, but Chattanooga with the lion's share of the game so far, and enjoyable to watch too as they uh, work out the best route to goal. That was Vassal Zargos that was a little shaken up, up to his feet now. Styles coaching staff very active. Somebody's here making an early substitution. I think they are. Looks like Bowie coming off. Yep. So Bowie coming off. Number 12 is coming on. It's Jacob Campbell. Jacob Campbell, thank you. Campbell making his fourth appearance for the Michigan Stars. He does have one start earlier this season. Michigan got a got a little bit of a late start this season. They played the same number of games mm -hmm. as CFC, but right. they got a little bit later of a start, and they feel like in, in talking with Trevor Banks, their head coach and sporting director, they, they goes down heavy foul there. They feel like they've got to they're still trying to figure out who they are a little bit. That, I think that's part of it. Yeah, they are playing at the home field as well which is uh, an indoor cover field so they can play all year round in Michigan even when it snows. Um, so they're playing temporarily away from home. Maybe that's having an effect on them. Uh, as referee with the first yellow card of the night, I do believe. Yep. for sales Argos yep. so called with that yellow night. card after yep. 30 minutes of play yellow card tonight sponsored by Captain White and McGarvey got foul vision go see Captain White and McGarvey I shall wave my yellow card even though you can't see it at home <laughs> it's the thought that counts it right? is the thought that counts and that, that's what it's all about really <laughs> I met some people who were coming to the visitors box on the way up in the elevator and they were handed yellow cards by the uh, staff walking into the game they're like what are these for I said you'll see it's <laughs> <laughs> a good one ball trying to find Nagel a bit too much on that one from uh, Frankie Martinez. Michael Stout has pretty much been given room to roam, isn't he, Chris? The, the defence aren't, haven't got somebody on him, and he's, he's finding gaps all the time. I'm surprised the Stars aren't putting at least one or two people on him at all times. Well, you mentioned on the the target on his back coming mm -hmm. into this one, Marcus Nagelstad of Chattanooga, nine goals. He leads Nisa in scoring mm -hmm. with those nine. Quite, quite, quite a distance, and uh, yep. Foul there, bit of shirt pulling from Richard Dixon. Robertson there, now we'll start trying to get that ball. That's a sloppy back pass. Ooh, they're lucky there, they didn't give that one away. If they did give that one away, Taylor Gray's trying to get it. There he goes. Here's Gray again, wide of the box, with a right foot. Graf Dixon there out for a throw to Chattanooga. Uh, 
and they've patiently building here, not rushing it. Good tackle. Throw the stars on the far side. Just pinning the stars back has got to be frustrating for them. I'm sure it's driving them mad they can't get away and make it a good attack. Three opportunities to score for CFC. They have come away empty. All three times, Michigan has yet to attempt a shot on goal tonight. We're mm -hmm. still scoreless in this 35th minute. Here's an opportunity touch. now Nagelstadt. for Chattanooga. Nagelstad has it blocked, gets it, back, gets it back, and again, it's deflected out of the box, taken by Gray. Gray across the box, and the header poked out by Michigan. Chattanooga, again, back into the box, and once again, the Stars there to defend. And CFC will look to set it back up one more time. Chattanooga has controlled this match the whole way as you see Kevin Gonzalez come out there. Gonzalez, he's... He could go to the salad bar and come back with the way this thing has gone. He has seen very little action on his end of the pitch. Yeah, not too much. So, I uh, hope he stays that way tonight. Bermudez runs into traffic, no foul. He's made a collision there. Cerro gets knocked down. That's a foul, and that's a card. Card number card. two. I believe the card Firm will go against Firmino. It was number five, Firmino, the defender, gets the second yellow of the night. And Firmino has normally played the, the center back position. They've moved him yeah. to six. Right. Yeah, he's usually a defender on their on their roster, but he's uh, just having to switch around a little bit tonight. They bought a good squad. They've got six, seven subs on the bench. They bought a good squad tonight, so you don't have to do that thing when you travel and don't take enough players and you have to double up. There's McGrath again. As once more, Chattanooga will look to attack wide. McGrath. play. The, uh, the Stars attackers are not really pressing at the moment. They seem to be just happy to watch. And Nagelstad. Nagelstad now tripped up. Yeah, that's a good tackle. Taken away. And the Stars make it happen. They give it to Richard Dixon who then gives it away again. <laughs> now, can the Stars make a break? Marriage sends it into the box. Stripling cleans it up. And Michigan yeah. will try to set it up now on their end. Into the box. And, and Gonzalez. Um, is there well, to the shot or a pass. <laughs> Gonzalez will pick it up on the hop. And what has been, look, that's probably been the best opportunity Michigan been, has good, had tonight. That was good play. Good sequence of play for them. Just, just fizzled out at the end. Nothing really came of it. But uh, if that's the go play this evening, I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> they might not be, but I'm okay with it. Cerro into the open field now. Cerro. Out to Gray. Who's in the middle for Gray to get to? He's got Nagelstadt open. Nagelstadt. Plenty of space. Still moving. Nobody's picking him up. Good cross. Aiming for Nagelstadt as he was working towards the goal. I uh -huh. think they were trying to set it up for uh -huh. Nagelstadt with the header. Yep.
Here's Nagelstad now. He'll give it up before it gets into the box. They go out wide. Robertson in the box. Robertson with the left foot. Shoot. Oh, it could have shot from there. <laughs> Did not quite come off. I thought Tate was going to take a strike there. He's in a good position to uh, maximize that. And the long kick into the 40th minute in this first half. And no score between these two. Yeah, Stripling and Marich having a bit of a, a fight there for the ball. Stripling coming over the course. Calling one of the uh, players that came with with Underwood from Stumptown at the start of this year, and he had a fit it into the defense extremely well here. Chris go forth alongside Simon Neal from Finley Stadium in Chattanooga. Yep, five minutes of regulation time to go. Not much stoppage to add on at the end, probably. So uh, coming close to half time, still scoreless. Campbell to throw it in for the Michigan Stars. And a foul given against McGrath there. A little bit heavy on the uh, intercept on the cloud. into play and here's Zargos coming up the left side. That runs out and looks like it's a corner. It's bounced off the corner flag. It's a corner for the Stars, their first one of the game after over 40 minutes of play. Let's see what their technique is for corners. Yeah, you know, this is something we talked about early on when you have a, mm -hmm. a team that has the height advantage like this. They sure. want to use that in these corner kicks. Well, this would be a great place to use it for sure. So, Yunkai over the corner kick. Yunkai. Into the box, the header goes high and out of play. You were right, they went for the header and they just uh, couldn't keep it down. But, uh, looking a bit dangerous there, although that's really their best attempt on goal so far tonight. Well, if you like physical soccer play, this has been your match tonight because these two have, they have gotten after each other physically tonight. Neither side able to find the back of the net here is we're in the 43rd minute of action. Chattanooga has had three opportunities tonight. They've come away empty, including on two penalty kicks. And we just saw Michigan Stars have their first corner kick and not able to convert. Clean tackle from McGrath there, no foul. Star was expecting to get a kick out of that one. Dixon to Robertson. There's and Zero trying to combine. Not coming off this time. But, uh, Stars not able to capitalize on that and trying to have the ball back. Spreading it wide, Stratton and Gray. Now Gray driving at the goal. Wins a corner.
Graff over the corner of Cerro waiting for the short one. Everybody's going in. Oh, it's in the six-yard box. Everybody's packed into a tiny area right in front of the goal. You can see us the moment we go to the wide shot. Out to Cerro. Cerro trying to get the cross in. Forced out and goal kick to the stars. Well, an opportunity for Chattanooga just yeah, not able to one, that. materialize. Yeah. <laughs> not as good as it could have been. going to have two minutes of added time for stoppages so uh, we'll play to about the 47th minute the referee of course will keep the time on the field so the clock is only a guide not absolute opportunity now for Chattanooga into the, the box and McCruver it's saved. McCruver can't hold it but uh, nobody's there to capitalize. Nice move out of nothing from Chattanooga there. Stoppage time of the first half and still Collision there, but looking for a goal. Yeah, referee calling on the coach. Look at him, but no uh, no foul. Just one of those two people in the same physical space at once. And uh, just checking for a head injury there. Training staff out to check on the injured Yep, Michigan that's the, Star. That's the new fee for all. Head injuries have to be checked on all the time. Michigan made the trip down to Chattanooga, traveled 10 hours in a bus. That's uh, Marich there with the head injury. Yeah, 10 hours is cramped up a little bit, Chris. You're an active sportsman. It's hard to sit still that long. I, yeah. would, I don't like to do it, and I'm not active at all. And I can't stand sitting still that long. So that's never good for your muscles. Then Chattanooga had to fly five hours back from the West Coast, so it evens out. <laughs> Good to see Leon Marich come off. Marich, a former Virginia Cavalier. Yeah. He played his college ball, also at St. Bosch University, where he was all conference. St. Bosch, the Patriots ain't the spark plug, wasn't he? <laughs> Long ball trying to find uh, Bermudez, but nothing comes of it. Should be blowing up for half time any moment now. And there it is. So half time, nil nil, no score. Chattanooga with a lion share of possession and shots on goal, but uh, scoreboard says nil nil, and that's what matters, folks. After a scoreless first half, we'll take a timeout here from Chattanooga's Finley Stadium. Yep, Michigan back. Stars FC, nothing. Chattanooga, nothing. We'll return. Be back in 15 minutes. See you soon, folks. Back at Finley Stadium where it's scoreless between the Michigan Stars FC and the Chattanooga FC. It's time for our cause of the match. Tonight, it's the Chattanooga Kidney Foundation. Let's learn a little bit more about tonight's cause of the match. Hi, Campbell the Kidney here. Welcome to Kidney Foundation Night at Finley Stadium. The Kidney Foundation of Chattanooga was founded by Dr. Jackson and Millie Yim to be a financial resource for those in the end stages of kidney disease. We became a local and independent nonprofit in 1989. 
We provide basic human services along with free community kidney testing to make a better and healthier Chattanooga. One in three Americans is at risk for kidney disease and there is no cure. There are two main treatment options for kidney failure, which are dialysis or a kidney transplant. Ask your primary care doctor to check your kidneys during your yearly checkup and make sure you know your kidney numbers. You can also eat healthy, drink lots of water, and take good care of your kidneys. Diabetes and high blood pressure are the two leading causes of kidney disease. To become more involved, you can attend or support one of our many fundraising events during the year. Get a perfect 10 at Dare to Dance. Party like it's 1989 at the Walden Club for Big Hair Affair. Sashay the runway with us at Dare to Drag at the Signal. Try all the best local eateries at Taste each spring. Hit the links with us at Kidney Cup at Bear Trace. Join us each Thanksgiving for the Sports Barn Turkey Trot. We are proud to partner with CFC tonight to showcase our organization. Keep up with my many adventures on Facebook or Instagram, and let's go CFC! Kidney Foundation tonight's cause of the match. They do some fantastic work there. Let's get a look at our uh, game stats for tonight. You see the Michigan Stars with uh, two shots, and uh, Chattanooga has had ample opportunity mm -hmm. tonight. Simon, just again, neither team able to get one across. Well, that's it. Chattanooga holding the lion's share of the attack, as you can see, and. Uh, Unfortunately, a lion's share of the fouls, but not many. <laughs> but uh, yeah, two yellow cards so far for the Stars, and uh, shots on goal too, but only 25% of what Chattanooga having on the shots on goal. Nobody converting, putting the ball in the back of the net, but I'm sure that's going to happen in the second half. So uh, we're about to get going, and we will uh, bring the game through its conclusion here on 11 Sports. Thanks to 105 and ESPN for the stats for half time. So, yeah, me and Chris will be here right at the end. Floodlights coming on, but it's all over evening. No sign of rain on the radar. Still about 82 degrees and quite humid on the field. Um, but, yeah, but it's some great soccer. Referee's about to get us going with a blow of the whistle. So, everybody, take your seats for the second half. These are the top two teams in the East Division. CFC at 6-2-1. Michigan comes in 4-3-2. Chattanooga with 20 points on the year. The Michigan Stars FC with 15. And once again, Chattanooga starts off the second half the same way they started off the first half, and that is with control. on the uh, right wing with Ian Cerro now. And Brett's been instrumental in several CFC goals and some good assists and a goal of his own while they were away in uh, Bay City. So we we'll see if uh, fresh legs can make a difference to the right wing. Everybody else looks about the same. If there are any trains, of course, we'll bring them to you. The chairman will be playing from uh, right to left. We'll get a close look at Taylor Gray on the left wing down here near the side of us. Greg Stratton supporting him, so always good to see Taylor up close. If you can catch him, he's so quick. Gray kind of led that Chattanooga attack back in the first half. The CFC had their opportunities, not able to come away with. Well, the good thing is, well, has got plenty of attacking strength on the bench, so uh, if he feels the need to change the attack around a little bit, he's got plenty in reserve. 
we had talked back in the first half about Marcus Nagelstad, the leading goal scorer in Nisa, with nine goals on the season. He had some opportunities in that first half, but, it, you know, clearly you mentioned it, Simon, at the start, the idea that he would come in with a target on his back, and I think that's certainly proven to be the case here. They have they have keyed on him a lot. They certainly have. They know he's the danger man. Um, haven't seen them closing him down as much as I thought they would. I already thought they, you know, could be right next to him all the time, and he's had time to get in space and take shots and make moves and passes. Maybe they'll change and then they'll chip through from Taylor Bray. Not finding uh, Ian Sorrow there. Makaruva with a long kick. Chattanooga not able to take advantage of that. It's an unusual pass back from the Stars. Yeah, can they make a break? Young Chai. Mm. With the right foot tries to aim it across towards the goal and it ends up yep. going behind the netting. Can't close his foot enough to make the cross. Mm -hmm. uh, the slides back out of danger. Entering play tonight, the Michigan Stars FC, 14 goals on 32 shots. They have only played nine matches. We mentioned that coming into tonight. CFC, 22 goals on 55 shots. They lead the league in mm -hmm. goals. Bay City FC, they have 21, but they did it in 13 matches. CFC with 22 goals in just nine matches. Putting a few more forwards up there. So be a little more aggressive this second half. Chattanooga has played, and as much as Michigan Stars FC has struggled to try to find anything consistent to happen on offense. No foul there, the referee <laughs> letting play go on. It's just, uh, Here's Gray again. There. Out for the throw in, and they'll get to take a look at the player who is, uh, he is to be injured, but I think we'll be seeing him. But with all that. Dangerous there. With all that being said, Simon, look, one goal may win this. It may be a one-goal game. You're quite right, Chris. It may be a one-goal game. I'm hoping it's not, but it may be. As long as the Chattanooga FC goal, then I won't complain. It's Firmino going down there. He's up and he's okay. I suspect once the first goal goes in, we'll see a whole lot more, though. That's generally the way of these things. It just has to open the floodgates a little bit, and off they go. Stratton will put it in. McGrath aiming towards the box, taken away momentarily by Michigan. And Chattanooga will try to pressure as the ball scoots away. Yeah, we end up with a draw tonight. It won't really change the table at all. And uh, I think the Stars will regard that as a lost opportunity to catch up with Chattanooga, which they'd like to do, especially on our home turf. So we'll see if uh, that motivates them to play a little harder 
Perhaps the Chattanooga would like to keep the winning streak going. Good for the psychology and good for the fans. String some passes together. Draft gets pushed in the back. Gray unable to catch up with it. And the referee uh, says no foul. So we get a goal kick to the Stars. to make the first substitution of the evening. We've got uh, number 11, James Ding, a defender, waiting to come on. Man number 14, sorry. He turned away from me, Nemanja Gozic. Gozic? Gozic, I can't say his name right. Other than Nemanja. But he's a uh, midfielder. Stars in the box. And scooped up by Gonzalez. An opportunity there for Michigan. The Stars not able to string a, a couple of passes together mm -hmm. and get the look they wanted. So Chattanooga FC will take over now. Yeah, that's what I've been seeing so far, Chris, is the, the Stars are getting the ball and uh, just not getting enough passes to make a, a really solid attack. If they can get those extra couple of passes in, they might start looking dangerous. it back in the first half. Simon, when would Michigan try to close the space a little bit? Maybe crowd Chattanooga a little bit and challenge mm -hmm. when CFC had possession. I think we're, maybe we're seeing a little bit more of that here, uh, in particular on this possession, than maybe what we saw certainly back in the first half. Yeah, there's a little more pressing in their game. Not as much as I would expect, but there is still a little more than there was in the first half. There's a great ball. Great opportunity in the box here for Chattanooga and spoiled by Michigan. Brett Jones ducking and diving for that one. And all the way across in the right wing for that one. And, uh, should, should have gone out for the throw. I think that's time for the, the substitution to happen. Let's see. There he is. So McLeod coming off from a 22, Kozic coming on from 14. Just up to Chattanooga gets. Players are warming up on the far side, but nobody. Uh, getting ready for the change just yet. I think we mentioned it earlier on Wednesday night out in out in California. Chattanooga didn't substitute until the 79th minute. Mm -hmm. and that was something yep. that coach... A little late in the game, perhaps. Yeah, Rod Underwood said he 
look, we'll, we'll base those substitutions. The game will dictate that. Into the box now. And the kick deflected by Chattanooga. Yeah. kick for the Stars. They miss the header. Swings out for a Chattanooga throw on the far side. Yeah, it goes. No, again, an opportunity wasted there, really. Well, both sides have had their chances tonight. Neither have been able to convert. Chattanooga McGrath. Um, what a great pass there. <laughs> Chattanooga can recover that. Shmelov again with the right foot, angling and goes wide, aiming for that far post. Not sure if he was trying to hit the the cutter. It might have been Firmino at the top that was trying to cut into the. Yeah, a little optimistic from that distance. I mean, goals do get scored from there, but it's a bit, a bit far out. Didn't challenge Kevin Gonzalez too much. Handball. The referee didn't catch that one. Challenge there from Cerro. Now Chattanooga off. Chattanooga with a fast break. They've got Taylor, Gray open, and Nagelstadt. Defending from the stars there, but uh, Chattanooga keep under control. Richard Dixon back to Frankie Martinez. Colin Stripling. Solid at the back, those three. He's not calling those, apparently. Yeah, the Chattanooga fans here they saw a caught that one, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> you can hear it when they do. McGrath That's a great sends ball. it wide into the 18 and booted out. Attackers either. If you're going to make that commitment, you better uh, come away with it, right? Better be very confident. <laughs> An hour played, still nil-nil at this point in the game. Michigan Stars trying to get back into the game this second half a bit more. Chattanooga still looking at the more dangerous out of the two. There's a great ball and almost. <laughs> Alex McGrath almost going all the way through. A shot on goal, not quite.
Strickland first of the ball. They're trying to find Taylor Gray. Gray almost gets away with it. Nice move out of nothing from Chattanooga there. So it's Stratton grabbing the ball, sorry, on that side. Strickland, my apologies, that's great. And Chattanooga slowing it down. Going back to possession soccer. Nick Cerro gets tangled up, lost possession. Yep. And wins it back. <laughs> <laughs> nice play, Mr. Cerro. <laughs> and now Chattanooga has it on the run, far side. Just a bit too far, and miscommunication with the goalkeeper and the defender. And we talked uh, earlier about Gonzalez coming yeah. way out from that. Yeah. We've seen it a couple of times tonight mm -hmm. from Makarova, who has, yep. has roamed far and wide out he of that. He has goalie spot. He has. And Brett Jones the most challenging there on the goal. Nice movement by Michigan. And the Stars keep it oh. tripped up. Foul called against Richard Dixon. That was really on Grosdick. Much of a foul, but oh well. Emmanuel Grosdick took the spill. Stephen Youngchai. With the free kick. Young Chai head butted out of the 18, and Young Chai sends it back towards the middle. And Michigan now Chattanooga. Chattanooga's to try and break. Cerro in plenty of space and time. Michigan a little slow to get back. Here's Cerro into the box, goes tripped goes up. Two. No foul again. So play keeps going. Taylor Gray steals the ball from the far side. Now Gray can see him use his speed. Back to Gonzalez who picks it up. Stars got to make anything happen from that little break. Chattanooga resume play. Scoreless in the 67th minute between the Michigan Stars and the Chattanooga Football Club here from Finley Stadium. Chris Goforth along with Simon Neal. And what has been a bit of a back and forth struggle between these two, coming way out again from the way to the, uh, coming all the way out to the top of the box was Makaruva. He'll go over the top now, down the middle. And here comes Chattanooga again. Second half appears to be more of a stalemate at the moment, I think, Chris. We're uh, in a couple of attacks, but nothing really too serious. There was uh, more free-flowing soccer in the first half. That's a great ball to Taylor Bray if he can keep that in, and he can. But, uh, this is the moment Chattanooga make a break. Great. Right. Into the box. Nagelstead. 
Send it out wide. Chattanooga again will look to set it up back into the box. And it is denied. Tate Robertson had it. Yep. And Robertson not able to get the clean look. Yeah, Robertson all the way back from the defense to get that in up to the byline. So uh, Chattanooga win a corner on the far side. Let's see if Chattanooga can do something here. Another Chinchilla. substitution yeah. as Leon Marich. Marich had a, he left with uh, what looked like a an injury back in the mm -hmm. first half, and he was back out here in the second half, and he will come back and will head out. Yep, you have a forward for a defender in that switch out. McGrath and Michigan just simply clear that one into the wild blue oblivion out there and <laughs> give away a throw and a substitution coming up just like Chan who was first Ian Serrell will right. come out Alex Hernandez will yep. come in it happens here in the 69th minute so about 10 minutes earlier than we saw the first substitution mm -hmm. for Chattanooga on Wednesday night in California. Right. Yep. Alex Hernandez full of running and uh, keen to make a difference. Another Hernandez. Midfield for midfielder. Hernandez, a North Carolina native, played at NC State. I feel like he's got a, a big upside. He's out for another one out for Chattanooga corner. Now just that letting that one go rather than chasing it. Chattanooga really keeping the screw turned and the pressure on. six-yard box. They really are packed in like sardines. McGrath. And taken by the goalie. Yep, Merrill Carr with a good, good hold there, good save. And the subject of the referee's attention again. Chattanooga. The referee, I'll look quickly with Richard Dixon. I think Richard knows what he's doing, but the referee wants to tell him anyway. <laughs> James, it's McGrath that puts it in. Such 
Interception by Stratton there, Hernandez. Stratton again. So Frankie Martinez, nice ball through from Adelstadt. Now Gray, can they combine? Gray, nice <laughs> footwork by guy. Gray. Great ball. And taken good. away again, yeah. coming away out is Makaruva. Yeah, good goalkeeping. And down for Michigan Stars, and we play on. No foul given there. side of Chattanooga, a little more pressure. Chattanooga ratcheting the pressure up a little bit more than the Stars at the moment. All the Stars players sitting on the field this second half. Break out the deck chairs, I think, Chris. Yeah, that looks like <laughs> it could be a little bit of a cramp. Probably cramp at this point in the game in uh, 20 minutes to go. Stretched out is mm -hmm. Keo Nogueira. Nice flick back. Hernandez, beautiful. Oh, and spoiled again by Michigan. Yeah, good defending. Oh, and there's a loose ball. He's on side. And there's the shot that's deflected. Once again, Makarova. Yeah, having a really stretch for that one. Good play from Chattanooga. Well, his head coach Trevor Banks said this week, he said he's our best athlete. He's the fastest guy we've got. Mm -hmm. He's the highest jumper we've got. And that's the reason why they like to have him in net. Absolutely. He's a great goalkeeper. Watch his replay. Good stretch. Yep. He really go for that one. Saw Marcus Nagelstead there and right in front of the goal, but really not a clear shot to be able to get it to him. Nagelstedt leads the league in scoring. He's got nine goals. Chattanooga has been the top offensive team, and Nisa has been held off the boards tonight. Fernandez winning another corner for Chattanooga. Takes it quickly. Now, can we get it across into the, into the box? Right across and headed away for the last minute. Back post header there. Mm. The stars to clear that one. Chattanooga keeping the pressure on. Once again, Chattanooga going to try again. Michigan with a height advantage. They've been able to use it to their advantage. McGrath, McGrath trying to come through traffic. McGrath into the 18 with a right Deflection. foot. Hernandez, shot deflected again. Pleading for a handball, but not given. Now Dixon bringing the ball forward. Long ball. Too much on that. Keep it in, can we keep it in play? We can. Strand, great back here. Look at that. Agglestead. Wow. Stopped again by Makaruva. He's not happy with his defense. <laughs> He's having a few words to say to his defenders. <laughs> he feels he's getting the coverage he's getting from his defense that should be taking care of him, keeping the ball away. Got a player down for the Stars in their box. There's a look at Cramp again. And there is a change coming for the Michigan Stars, number 10. Cornish waiting to come on. That's a look at Tatenda Makaruva, the goalkeeper for Michigan Stars FC. Played for the Zimbabwe national team. Mm -hmm. Yep. Played pro two years in South Africa before mm -hmm. he yep. came over to Michigan. Chattanooga has challenged him in this second half, but he is he has answered the bell each and every time. 78th minute, no score. This will be a good time for somebody to get a goal. 
Crippling fighting for the ball. Nice job Good by save Michigan, from and there's Gonzalez. the save. What a critical save that was. Stars again trying to go for it. Well out of play. Yeah, Chapman with a goal kick, and referee stops the play for the, for the substitution. Number 20 coming off. Kind of wearer coming off, and number 10, Matthew Cornish, about to come on. If they can get it done. <laughs> They're tending to a player down in the box. That replay, look at that action. Isn't that great? Michigan Stars finally looking a bit dangerous, Chris. Well, able to string some passes together, and that was something that throughout this night they have really not been able to do, which mm -hmm. is be able to string the passes together. And yeah, and once they did, they looked dangerous. Yeah. That was, that was what was missing in their attack for the most of the game. Another cramp for a member of the Michigan Stars, and he will come off with a little bit of help. And I believe that, is that at Noguera? I think it may be the one, yes, is going to come off via the, uh, the back line. That means it's... Uh, it's Cornish. Keo Noguera, who yeah, is a, is a substitute. So Cornish can come on. So that substitution now made. Chattanooga still no subs at this time. for Michigan. Inside the 18, Chattanooga will send it out. And we've got a whistle. Throw a handball in the box. A free kick to Chattanooga. up on the far side. Martinez, long kick. Take the Take gray. A, a gray oh. in the middle, oh. and he's upended. Trip down very obviously. And a yellow card. Can't it comes, really in the, comes in the 81st minute. See that again. I just laid in the, in the side of the mid bang. <laughs> yeah. And the referee is right in front of him. At least the referee can't see him, for goodness sake. <laughs> Good chance for Chattanooga here. Let's see if they can uh, make something happen. McGrath directing traffic here. Gray gives it to McGrath. McGrath, and it's deflected out of the box. And Chattanooga will try again. Hernandez across the middle. McGrath spreads it. Nope, thinks again. Hernandez again. No, Gray again. Way doing his dance, just pushed out and gives away the goal kick. Runs out of space there. If you're enjoying this game, folks, don't forget the next home game is Saturday, July 2nd. AC Syracuse return to Finley Stadium and uh, playing here again on July the 4th weekend. On the 2nd, we will see you then. And if you want to uh, be here in person and get a discount ticket, go to cfcticks.com to get your ticket 10% off there, I think. 
and you haven't got to listen to me talking for 90 minutes, you can enjoy yourself <laughs> instead. It's now like, that's the best part of the offer, I think. <laughs> but for a price, you will come down and, and sit behind a visitor. And Here we go. Chattanooga again. Oh, a wide open goal. goal. That's going to be a red card, surely. A foul on the... That's a yellow. Should be a red card. Taken down as the last defender. Makaruva had come out well away from the goal. It was an empty net. Watch this again. This is actually a red card offense because he's taken down the last attack. He's the last defender and he's taking the, the attacker down. That's actually a red card offense. The referee gave a yellow. Let's see what Chandler can make out of this. Time is ticking. They can see the clock as well as you can. You know they have to do something here. Into the 18, Nagelstad lost get, it. Couldn't get a shot away. In the 84th minute, here comes Michigan. Trying to mount their attack. CFC will take it away and try to clear it out. Good recovery there. Low to CFC on the far side. Both teams are aware of the clock. It's, it's pretty hard to miss the clock on this field, so I know time is running up against them. We should have very little stoppage time. Not too much. Maybe a couple of minutes. Letting this clock wind down, down to the 86th minute. Yeah. And just gets away from them, runs out for a goal kick. Is there a goal in the last five minutes, Chris? Let's hope there is. It's, uh, well, it's been a very exciting game to watch. Three points to Chattanooga now would be uh, the icing on the cake, really. Jones away. Foul called against Brett Jones for a bit of pushing and shoving there.
Nice job by Michigan to maintain possession. And that runs out. Well, I remember the line, the referee didn't call it. Able to save it in play. Um, bit across the line to me, but okay. <laughs> and there's a great long kick, and that's not really going anywhere. So, Kevin Gonzalez grabs that and says thank you. Trying to get forward, flicking it on for Snagelstadt, but uh, too much on that one. Still on the side. Michigan. Good Knocked blocks. away by Gonzalez. Yep, good save, pushed out for throwing. A little bit of light game pressure for Michigan here. about the height advantage. Let's see if they try to use it here in the box. It's butted out by Chattanooga. And the foul given for some pushing in the box. Chattanooga get to uh, come out again. Let's see how much extra time is going to be added on by the fourth official. Open look now for Chattanooga with a right oh. foot, and it's blocked. Good save. Oh, and what's going on here? <laughs> Yellow card. Four minutes added time. Not sure what the yellow card was for there. Let's see that again. Brett Jones streaking away. Good save, really good. Oh, the other mark is Ah, okay. <laughs> That's what the replay shows. That was a bit silly. I'm not sure why he would do that. And the stoppage time in the 91st minute. Yep. Still no score. Between the top two teams in the East Division, Michigan Stars FC and Chattanooga Football Club here from Finley Stadium. Chris go forth along with Simon Neal. Well, the draw hurts Michigan Stars more than Chattanooga as they could do with making up some points. Chattanooga will be still sitting five points clear if it stays this score. Uh, but the Stars have got the other teams close to them that could catch them up. So could do with three points more, well, both teams could do with three points, but you know. <laughs> It'd be more of a loss for Stars not to pick up three on the road. Into the 18, Michigan will look to set it up. I think. No, no. Offside and it runs out for a goal kick. Just trying to be a little bit too clever. Not enough real estate there. Trying to do it coming forward again. Take the grade. Same real estate problem. Runs out of space. <laughs> Here 
Yakov Shmelov to throw it in. Crowd here is really on their feet trying to will the ball into the back of the net for Chattanooga. And the whole crowd is standing up making a lot of noise as you can probably hear it. A long throw. That's Campbell. And taken by Gonzalez. That's a straightforward cog goal kick playing that long, trying to find Nagelstadt. He's the uh, lone man. We are in stoppage time. We're in the 94th minute. Not too much longer for Chattanooga to do some magic. Let's see what they've got. One last attack. Stratton. On a wing, McGrath. Gray. Gray. Hernandez. Towards the 18, it's Hernandez. That's great. Look at this. Good play. Stay calm, lads. Gray. The crossers head butted out. Shadow able Dixon. to keep it. Dixon. McGrath. Hernandez chases it. Doesn't want it to go out. Keeps it in, but. Gives away the throw. We're inside what should be about the final minute. And that's it. That's your game, folks. Nil-nil in the end. Lots of drama. No goals. Nil-nil a point each. No changes to the table in Nisa in the Eastern Conference. Enjoyable game to watch. Could have used a goal, but still enjoyed that one and uh, lots of action. So the Stars pick up the point and Chattanooga is still five points ahead. But the Stars only one point ahead of the Bobcats. So uh, I think out of that, Chattanooga probably get the better happy with the result, really. So thank you for watching us tonight on 11 Sports. I'm Simon Hilton. Chris has been to help me out today.